this isn't a video I thought I would ever be making. I didn't think this would ever happen in my life since I've been vegan, but it's going on and I am no longer vegan. This is not just me just trying something else for some fun with my diet at all. This is a very serious topic. So if you want to know every single bit of detail as to why I am now eating things such as beef and egg and other animal products on a consistent basis. Make sure you watch this video from start to finish. And I'm gonna tell you about all the profound, amazing benefits that I've got that I didn't even know I was necessarily gonna get. But my body felt drawn to eating animal-based foods and I thought, okay, I listen to my body, I try and eat them. I tried a while ago eating egg, I ate a fried egg a little bit, it freaked me out if you haven't seen that video. And then I said that I was going back to veganism after trying that because it weirded me out. But I, after a short while, felt drawn to it again. And I used to not like fried eggs. So I thought, let's try it in a different way. And it was a more positive experience. And in case anyone thinking it's a fraud video, me being silly, look at all these eggs I've been eating. I am eating eggs in abundance. So much cholesterol and so much fat. And yeah, I've also been eating beef burgers, as you'll see in this clip now. Grass-fed, high-quality beef with no antibiotics, no hormones, no other garbage added to it whatsoever. So, something that... I have been personally going through is for almost three months now, I have been feeling the worst that I've pretty much ever felt in my life consistently. My energy levels have been very, very low, where in the last three months, guess what? I've only been able to train about six times. And if you've seen on this channel, I have been the most inconsistent with regular videos on this YouTube channel channel and it's been having a negative effect on my relationship with my partner that I met around three years ago because I've had almost no sex drive the whole time unless I get massively stimulated just not been feeling alive or vibrant in my mind and body and it's been affecting me spiritually because I'm a very spiritual person you may not be aware of that because I haven't talked about that many times before but it has been like hell and back I've just been having to be on my back most of the time and not be able to live my life to the full and participate in life. And I've been trying so long to make it work, taking this supplement and that supplement and eating this food and that food and that food. And every time I take a supplement now, and for months, I am just getting nothing from the food. It is not energizing me. The supplements are not giving me anything. And I've been so in, like, just trying so hard to make this work because I do care about the animals and the environment and my health so, so much. But it just got to the point where it's just not working for me. Every time I eat the food, I just get absolutely nothing. And I have to just keep eating and eating and eating food until I'm completely 100% stomach capacity, which I don't think is good for me whatsoever in the short term and long term, because the food was just not satiating me, whether it was whole foods or junk food or any other types of food. So it was just getting absolutely ridiculous. This is just ongoing so much. And I just got to a point where I was like, okay, I throw in the towel, I give up. And I learned from a lot of different sources for a very long period of time of how to source the most ethically like animal products that you possibly can. I'm not buying anything that's from factory farming at all. It's like free range and all of this. And yes, I know vegans are gonna say there's nothing ethical, but there is the most ethically sourced. I'm getting the eggs from chickens that free roam outside our house. And one thing I wanna mention onto what I started consuming first and how that affected me alongside all the benefits that I've just mentioned that I got from eating certain animal foods is that the foods I've been eating, pretty much all of the vegetables and the grains and a lot of other things that I've been eating on this diet all imported from China. Do your research. Chinese produce is so toxic, it's unbelievable. And it's so like void of nutrition. And when your body's not getting the nutrition it needs, guess what? You're gonna just not feel satiated. You're gonna have to eat loads of food until you get completely stuffed like I was. So I've done my best that I can do. So we got some eggs from the shop just outside our house. And like I said, they're free range, organic, and so forth. And my girlfriend made scrambled eggs. She was gonna experiment with me. As she made the scrambled egg, it just weirded me out. As you can see in this clip, she ate the eggs on her own. I didn't eat any of it. I was like, oh, I just can't get over this mentally. It's like all slimy, it's freaking me out. I've got my vegan program in, so yeah. So I didn't eat any. So then she said, why don't we make pancakes? So she made pancakes, and I've had pancakes like this before, but with not having the eggs in it. And I ate it. it was still a bit weird, but I was able to do it. It's just like when you haven't eaten foods like that for a while, it can be a bit overwhelming mentally. So we hid it in there just an experiment because I only want to eat whole foods. 
but this is what I needed to do to slowly ease into it. So, I ate just two small pancakes. I hadn't eaten anything else in the day, and guess what happened? I got satiated from two small pancakes. You know how many I'd have to eat if it was a vegan pancake? About 20 or so. And I wouldn't be satiated, I'd just be stuffed where I'm like, oh, I'm just so stuffed, just don't show me that food anymore. Didn't notice any significant benefits straight away. I've written down a load of them here. But yeah, I know it's a rushing sensation from my body. I used to take certain euphorics that people take at parties that make you feel really good. And it was giving the same sensation as that, which is a really good thing. I started to want it to jump around and play because I was infused with so much life force. My sexual energy went through the roof. I started feeling calm and my mind wasn't racing anymore, being scattered everywhere. And <laughs> you just don't believe, like, <sighs> to actually go from feeling that shit to this is just profound. And I started, it started massively improving my sex off that day. We had some of the most passionate sex possible. It was just absolutely profound. And I felt so grounded and rooted and so strong and vital. Like I have not been feeling for the last three months. And I'm telling you now, guess what? I've never felt like that from a vegan diet. Oh, I felt good on a vegan diet the majority of the time, but never like this. And like I said, I'm a very spiritual person. I got to actually embody being the chicken and the chicken don't seem traumatized at all from me and the egg. It's a bit weird to be a chicken because I'm a human. And I'm not used to that at all. It's a completely different energy to me being a human and the energy that I admit. I'm going to try and make this video not as long as possible, but I had it at 10.30 and then at 6 p.m. I ate a double beef burger, grass fed, and I was hesitant to eat at first, but then I went for it and I didn't get grossed out by it all. And I was just like, wow, this tastes so juicy and flavorful. It was so strong, I couldn't really taste anything else in the burger whatsoever. It just blew me away. And I was just like, so in the present moment, enjoying it. And do you know what, pretty much in any vegan food, unless it's vegan junk food, I wasn't enjoying it because it doesn't taste alive and vibrant, even if it's a plant-based food. I felt no immediate fix, as I've written here. And then I started to feel this deep, profound sense of inner peace and calming, just a wave over me, where I was just like, feeling like, <sighs> just so amazing that you would not believe. And it made me feel more grounded and more safe and secure in myself because I've been feeling very unsafe and secure, which is not like me and getting a lot of anxiety. So what is going on? This is not normal. This is not me being the best version of myself whatsoever. It just completely induced me in the parasympathetic side of the nervous system. And then we went to a beach later on, a friend saw me and he was like, whoa man, what's going on with you? Have you taken something? I've never seen you like this before. And I told him that I'd been eating a burger and he was like, wow man, this is just, yeah, really amazing. So that was in the dark. So that was pretty interesting that he noticed that. And I just started to feel very alert, but I didn't feel stimulated. Cause a lot of people say meat stimulates you, but is this calmness with energy in my mind and body and all my cognitive functions just being optimal all around and then I just found that my heart opened up this is an issue that I've had my whole life this is something that affects my relationships in a negative way and it's the reason why a lot of them have been destroyed my intimate relationships so my whole life pretty much my heart is closed off and guarded I do so much inner work on it and then I process what is making that come up for me my heart's open for a while and then it just closes again. And this has been something that's just been affecting my whole life in such a negative, profound way. And it's been horrible. But as soon as I ate the beef, guess what? My heart completely opened up. I started feeling love and compassion to everyone. So much gratitude and appreciation to the animal for providing me with that meat. And that's what I wanna mention. When I ate this food, I just gave so much gratitude and appreciate for, for the animals that are providing me with them. I think a lot of people don't do that and yeah, they get factory farmed animals and then it's gonna make you suffer because they have suffered so much. It is your ultimate karma. And it actually just made me feel like a cow. And what I got to realize is a cow just feels such like an enlightened being, so grounded, so peaceful, their heart's completely open. It was just like, wow, I didn't know a cow experienced that. It may sound crazy, but to spiritual people it will sound crazy. Well, non-spiritual people should even say, but yeah. The benefits was just holistic, mental, physical, and spiritual, more than I could have ever imagined. And yeah, my heart was just radiating like absolutely crazy. And what actually happened is I didn't actually sleep that much because I was so energized. But when I woke up the next day, I still felt so amazing. If I'd had around five hours sleep, which I did, which went on a vegan diet, I need around eight to 10 hours to feel good. I would have felt absolute crap if I slept five hours on a vegan diet, but not with this meat that I've been consuming and the eggs. And I just found that I was so satiated for such a long period of time 
which yeah, I do a lot of intermittent fasting already, but this is a different type of satiation. I could just like switch off and make my body not feel hungry, but this time it was like my body felt so nourished that it was a different type of reason for me being satiated. And I found the next day that my feces that was being released was more solid and consistent because I've been having these blowing and gas issues going, which I never really had before for around the last three months, which is horrible when that is going on. And then I go from like diarrhea to constipation and it was just like up and down and all over the place. It's just really not good. And yeah, the next day I just felt like dancing around. So I was dancing, I'm singing, I'm playing. I'm like, wow, man, like this is, yeah, just so much excitement and feeling so positive within my mind. My motivation went through the roof where I just wanted to do so much and I did so much zest for life. And I didn't feel dehydrated after these foods at all, which is really, really interesting. And when I brushed my teeth, it was easier to get all of the food residue off my teeth rather than trying to clean it after eating lots of plant-based foods. And guess what as well? My EMF sensitivity has gone. I normally, when I use electronic devices, which is not good because I work online, it radiates through my whole hands and arms and it has such a negative effect on me mentally and physically, holistically, but that has vanished, which is just like, wow. Like, <laughs> So yeah, that's me explaining it as much as possible, what has been going on, and I've just made a big order. You can see it here. I'll make a little video clip. I've ordered so many like high quality meats from Paleo Robbie, which is in Thailand, and there'll be an affiliate link down below in case you're interested in buying from them. They're in Thailand, and they deliver the most highest quality meat and fish and other animal-based foods that have been tested, and they're all grass-fed or pasture-raised, organic, non-GMO fed, not fed with grains, soy, or corn, or any of that stuff. So I'm making sure that I'm getting the most highest quality stuff, and no, I'm not going carnivore. I might do in the future, but at the moment, I think it's good for me to have a wide variety of whole foods so I can get the most varied nutrition possible, rather than putting myself in a box and limiting my nutrition, which I've done that before. So, any updates, I'll let you know in the future. And if you wanna see me eat duck eggs for the first time since no longer being vegan. There'll be a video coming up very, very soon to make sure that you click the subscribe button down below and click the bell notification button to be notified of when that video is uploaded. And then following that, there's gonna be me eating the beef burger. So, if you wanna see a vegan eat those things, some people are gonna freak out, some people are gonna unsubscribe, but oh well, who cares? I need to be true to myself. My body's loving this, it's making me feel good, and I'm always gonna be the number one priority. Yes, I care about the animals, but I'm not gonna destroy myself in the process, which I had been doing. And I am doing it literally for the best reasons possible. It's not some selfish reason, or just me being a food addict and wanting to taste these things whatsoever. So yeah, that's just the way it is. And I'm gonna be making loads of videos on this topic. And if you'd like me to make any videos, talking about anything to do with this type of thing, let me know down below and make it for you as soon as possible. So, leave your questions down below. Don't forget to like, don't forget to share, and subscribe to receive a lot more videos where you're gonna see me be more alive and vibrant, which I'm sure you can pick up in this video. And it's not me forcing it, it's naturally coming out within me. So yeah, catch you on the flip side. Peace.